Hello everyone and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. The shirt that I'm wearing right now, I made this using that sublimation DTF hack where you have to use the DTF film and the powder and the sublimation ink. But in this tutorial, this is going to be super, super, super quick and easy because I am just going to use a DTF transfer that I purchased from Atlanta Vinyl. I recently purchased some uh, transfers from them before Christmas and they were a huge hit. So I decided to order some for myself. So I ordered this one for my son. And I don't know why he likes that kind of stuff, but he does, no judgment. I also ordered this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it just yet, but the one that I'm using today is uh, one that I'm definitely going to make for myself and I'm going to wear it tomorrow if it's cool enough. I do live in Houston and it's not always cold. It's, in fact, it's not cold today, but this one just says new year, same hot mess. If you can relate, drop me a heart down below. Now this process, you guys, is super quick and easy. You can see how big this film is. I'm not having to use a hack. I can use any color fabric. I can use cotton, I can use polyester. I can use a polyester cotton blend. Now, if you're asking me about any other fabrics, my answer is, I don't know. But at any rate, if you're finding this tutorial helpful at any time, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week now normally i would go right into materials and that's exactly what i'm going to do but it's not really many materials i'm using this transfer that i purchased from atlanta vinyl and guess what i have a discount code to share with you i will make sure it is linked below the video if you're wondering how do i get to the links below the video if you click the little drop down where it says see more it will uh, expand and you'll be able to see the links that I have below the video. I'm also going to use this hoodie that I purchased locally. This hoodie is a, it's 100% cotton. It is Gildan. Um, it's actually heavy cotton. I think that that um, image will look nice on this color hoodie. And I'm using my Starcraft 15 by 15 clamshell heat press that I purchased from 143 vinyl. The last time I checked, they were out of stock, but I will still leave it linked below this video and you can have a notification set so that when they are back in stock, you can order one. I do have a discount code for that also. We won't need any Cricut, we won't need a mat, we won't need a weeding tool or any of that. So that is the beauty of DTF transfers and I am just in love with them. And Atlanta Vinyl has tons to choose from. All right, so without further ado, I have my heat press seat heating up to 325 degrees. I'm gonna let it heat up and I'll come back. We'll get it pressed and that will be that. So I usually get a lot of questions about this. It's called a vinyl over the door roll holder. I got it from Michaels. I will make sure it is linked below this video. So now we're at the heat press and one thing I did not mention is a Teflon sheet, but I honestly think that part is optional, but I'm going to follow the directions that came with the transfers. So when you order transfers from Atlanta Vinyl, and I don't know, every company is different. I've only ordered transfers from Atlanta Vinyl. Okay, direct to film transfers. I'm just going to read it. It says pre-press the garment for 15 seconds to remove excess moisture. So I'm pressing a hoodie and I am going to place it on my heat press sideways. Um, if you don't have this exact same heat press, and you're using like a, an easy press, just get it on there, you know, the best way you can so that you are removing the moisture from wherever you're going to press it on the garment. Now the transfer that I ordered is the 2X. I ordered the biggest transfer they have because I want it to be big on my hoodie. So I'm gonna press this for 15 seconds to remove the moisture. And it says, sorry, now it says, let the garment cool before adding the transfer. Okay, so I'm gonna remove it from my heat press and I'm gonna let it cool down before I add the transfer and I can just shake it out. You can do it this way. You might have a cooling block or some other way to cool it fast, but I'm gonna let this cool down. So now I don't know, I don't remember if I expressed that I made this shirt that I'm wearing using the hack. 
with this process, I don't need a hack. I'm just using an, an actual transfer because I do not own a DTF printer. The printers that I have are sublimation printers and I also have an inkjet printer, okay? But if I wanted to have this image, like a custom image, you can also send them the image that you want them to create a DTF transfer for. So that's another thing about ordering from Atlanta Vinyl. Okay, so it's cooled down a little bit. All right, it says, place the transfer on the shirt, white side down, image facing up. So I'm literally reading the instructions and following them. Now, if you are using an HTV Raunt auto press, because I also have one of those, I would be a little bit cautious about trying to use that because you won't be able to control the pressure. And with these transfers, you need to have a lot of pressure. So I'm sure you can do it. I'm not sure about the amount of pressure you'll get. You might want to put something under, you know, the hoodie or something like that if you're doing a hoodie or if you're doing a shirt, maybe put another piece of fabric or a, a lighter mat or something like that under it so you can, you know, get more pressure under there, okay? So now I have the hoodie. Let me kind of position you so you can see it. So I have the hoodie on here sideways. It says place the transfer down with the white side. So this is the white side. This is the image side. It says, place the transfer on the shirt, white side down, image side up. So with this, I'm probably gonna go ahead and fold it just to be on the safe side because I did not crease this hoodie. I wanna kinda make sure it's straight. And I'm gonna come down about mm, three finger lengths still, three finger lengths. Okay, and I think that's straight enough. I think it's straight enough, okay? And it says press on 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds under very firm pressure. So I did increase the pressure on my heat press, okay? Now it says remove the garment from the press and make sure, okay. Remove the garment from the press and let it stand until it is warm enough to peel. So, okay, it has cooled down. So this is, you know, the image has not been peeled away from the hoodie yet. It says remove the garment from the press, peel cool. So I'm just put it back on the heat press. I'm going to peel it from there so you can see it. Remember, I do not have a DTF printer. That is so amazing. It is so amazing. So this is the film. Now it says, uh, cover the image with parchment paper or a Teflon sheet and press it again for 15 seconds. So I'm going to add a Teflon sheet. I want to press it again for 15 seconds. All right. This is amazing. That. Now it's not like sublimation, so the ink is not in the fabric, but it does feel soft. Um, it feels like it almost feels like it's not there. So I'm gonna get up close so you can see it. I didn't do any lint rolling, it didn't request that, it didn't require that. I didn't put butcher paper inside, I didn't do anything extra that I would need to do if this were sublimation but you see the the ink it looks like it's on top but it doesn't feel like it really doesn't feel like anything I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat press off uh, let me tell you about the washing instructions and give you my final thoughts okay so this is what it looks like on this is a uh, medium cotton heavy cotton uh, hoodie at that okay so the washing instructions it says 
Uh, if the image does not come off completely, repress the image in place, let it cool, and then repeal. So you will get these same instructions if you're ordering from them also. Care instructions, turn the garment inside out, machine wash cold, um, no bleach, no softener, do not dry clean or iron, tumble dry low. So if you're wondering about, you know, how do I wash it? The washing, the care instructions come with it. I have not washed it. You see, I just pressed it. I did this in real time today, December 31st, 2022. And if you found this helpful in any way, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.